boys and girls. Today I'm here to talk to you about your ongoing animal project and what you're going to be doing this week for that. This week we are talking about animal coverings. And what I want you to do is I want you to think of all the animal coverings you learned about this week, such as feathers, fur, smooth skin, scales. Think of all those animal coverings and how they protect the animal. Then I want you to choose one of those animal coverings that you would like to put on your imaginary animal. How could you show that? If your animal has feathers, how are you going to create these feathers on your animal? So your project this week is to find a base for your animal body. So some students like to use uh, clay, some students will use water bottles, uh, you can use a cereal box, you can use cardboard and tape to make your animal body. And I want you to create your animal body using anything you find around the house. And then the first thing you're going to do after you create that body, it could be round, it could be long, it could be square, whatever your animal body looks like. Then you're going to cover it with the skin or the covering that you imagined it has. So if you picked feathers, maybe you have some feathers lying around the house or you found some outside that you like to use or you can use clay or you can use construction paper and cut some out. That's what you're going to do. You're going to cover your animal body with just the covering. Don't worry about any of the details such as face or tails. Don't worry about any of that. Just work on covering the anim animal's body for this week. Hope you have fun with this. Talk to you soon.